I gave a presentation uh, not very long ago to a group of hedge fund managers. So these are very, very wealthy people. And, and I, we talked about difficult scenarios for the United States, and we talked about ways in which uh, you could have greater inequality and, and more violence. And, and one member of the audience raised his hand and said, so you're saying we could become like Mexico? And I said, yes, it's a very real possibility, and we should talk about it. And, and I think they were quite taken by this. And as I was walking out of the, of the room, I overheard two of them talking. They, they didn't see that I was there. And, and one of them said to the other, I think we should take the Mexico scenario very seriously. And, and the other one said, um, yes, perhaps we should get bodyguards. And the first one said, no, I was thinking more we should have a backup uh, place in New Zealand. You see, I think things will get better, continue to get better for some people. I, I don't. I think there will be technological progress, there will be innovation. I'm a professor of entrepreneurship at MIT, among other things, and I, and I don't see any end to that process of new gadgets or new ways of organizing society. But the question is, who captures the benefits? And I think the presumption we often have is that the technological change will benefit most people. Remember the Industrial Revolution at the beginning, if, if you look at the data carefully, um, for about 50 years, the benefits were very unequally distributed. It was only at the end of the 19th century you can definitely say there was an increase in the standard of living for poorer people in, in British society. And, and I think uh, we should worry about that now. I think we should worry that the last 20 years where um, there's been an increase in inequality in the United States and, and people with only high school education have done not, certainly not better, and they, they probably have um, and should have lower expectations at this point than their parents did. You know, perhaps we should worry that that was not an anomaly, that was not a one-off, but that was actually the beginnings of a, of a new split uh, within, within society. So if you have enough money to establish a backup hideaway in New Zealand, you will do fine. Most people, of course, do not fall into that category.